I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Petalil. The name Lilies covers a wide range of flowers, from the true lilies, the lilium, to other flowers all over the world, which are colloquially called lilies thanks to their resemblance, like the African lily, lily of the Nile, or the lily of the valley, infamous to viewers of Breaking Bad. In my earliest days on the internet, I chose to use the screen name Busker Lily, a nonsense word I made up as a child. This became my default on websites and games. It's still the name by which you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and my Nintendo Switch today. From that nonsense word, I started using the name Lily for female characters in video games, and it has become both my favourite name and my favourite flower. In the Pokemon games I even use Lily, or I try to use the version of Lily for that region's native language. For example, in Paldea, I'm called Lirio, because that's Spanish for Lily. Petalil is a pure grass-type Pokemon, which resembles the bulb of a lily. It has an onion-like head, with a pale face, cute eyes, and leaves for hair, atop a frilly collar of a body. Its Pokedex entries read like real horticulture, with little hint that this is a moving, conscious monster. Pokemon Black tells us, The leaves on its head are very bitter. Eating one of these leaves is known to refresh a tired body. And Pokemon White tells us, Since they prefer moist, nutrient-rich soil, the areas where Petalil live are known to be good for growing plants. And Pokemon Violet says, If the leaves on its head are pruned with regularity, this Pokemon can be grown into a fine, plump shape. The name Petalil simply combines Petite and Lily. Ironically, although Petalil is quite a small Pokemon, it isn't very petite for a flower bowl. The Japanese name, Churine, combines Tulip, a member of the lily family, and the Japanese word for bulb, which is yurine. Like all bulbs, Petalil is just getting started. Like its counterpart in Pokemon Black, Cottony, Pokemon White exclusive Petalil reacts to a sunstone and evolves into Lilligant. Lilligant is, as the name may suggest, an elegant lily. It resembles a lady of the court in a ballroom gown with bell-shaped skirt. The large flower on the top of her head completes the look by doubling as a fancy headpiece. This Pokemon is a ballroom dancer through and through, literally learning the move Petal Dance as soon as it evolves. Pokemon Black tells us, Even veteran trainers face a challenge in getting its beautiful flower to bloom. This Pokemon is popular with celebrities. For the most part, though, the Pokedex focuses on the scent of this Pokemon's flower, rather than its chops as a dancer. Pokemon White tells us, The fragrance of the garland on its head has a relaxing effect. It withers if a trainer does not take good care of it. And Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 tell us, The fragrance of the garland on its head has a relaxing effect, but taking care of it is very difficult. While Whimsicott had a small competitive niche, enhanced by its additional fairy type later on, Lilligant never made much of a splash, at least not in this form. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, we were introduced to Hisui's form of Lilligant, a grass and fighting type Pokemon, which eschews the ball gown, instead letting its strong dancer's legs show. Legends Arceus tells us, I suspect that its well-developed legs are the result of a life spent on mountains covered in deep snow. The scent it exudes from its flower crown heartens those in proximity. Hisuian Lilligant resembles a ballet dancer or ice skater, owing to the cold climate and proximity to Russia of the real-world Hokkaido on which the region is based. It also takes inspiration from the Allium Victorialis, an onion which was used by the native Ainu people for medicinal purposes, and is a cousin of the lily. 
The name of this flower is referenced by the move Victory Dance, which increases the Pokémon's attack, defense, and speed all at once. Combined with abilities which also boost attack, particularly in the sun, it was speculated that Hisuian Lilligant might be a bit of a competitive beast. While it can certainly be a powerful threat, it hasn't become the dominant force that Whimsicott once was. Welcome back to Moyles on Mon. Petalil. Um. I only really picked this because I didn't. I wanted an extra value pick in my mind from that stupid draft that we did. Um. So this has oddish energy. Oddish energy is the phrase for this one. It's 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 definitely trying to evoke that it's kind of a cute little leaf guy. Um. Turns into a you know elegant flowery leaf person um, and if I remember rightly this is the one that has a it's not a mega form is it a Hisuian form uh, yeah it's evolution does yeah yeah Lilligan sorry does yeah um, I don't remember what that looks like though at all <laughs> I'm assuming it has a big leaf still in its head a big flower uh, it's kind of got a bit less of that going on. Oh. Huh? It's very. I just spelled it again. Did it have like big legs? Remember it jumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like more of a dancery one. Oh, yeah. It's got a smaller leaf on its head, but it has still got one. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's more of like a mini skirt with long legs. It does more of like yeah, a ballet. Yeah, that's stick. it. Yeah. So um. Yeah, I'm always up for a cool grass type. Um, I think it's my second favorite type, other than dark, obviously. Um, and this would this would fit the Moyles. It's the Moyles seal of approval. Well done, Pelo. Lilligant is a beautiful Pokemon in either form. As a noble Pokemon in Legends Arceus, Hisuian Lilligant really shined and reminded me of my favorite Digimon, who just so happens to be named Lilymon. Music for Luke Plus Pokemon is composed by Jonathan Cromie. Art's work for the show is by Katie Groves. Petalil and Family were designed by Atsuko Nishida. Writing, producing, and editing is by me, Luke Summerhays. Funding is provided by my lovely listeners. If you'd like to join them to help keep the show online or to find other podcasts by me and my pals, head over to patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. Coming up are Basculin and Sandile, so if you have thoughts about those or any other monsters, Hit me up with a DM at LukeLovesPKMN, or an email to LukeLovesPKMN at gmail.com. And of course, I'd love if you could leave a 5-star rating and review on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you're listening. Even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much just for listening. I love Petalil, and remember, I love you too. <laughs>